Tonight we're going to be making a highly requested recipe and this is going to be a chicken pot pie. I've got it as low as I could get it and I'm going to show you what you need. This is Bisquick Heart Smart. You're going to need one cup of that. One can of cream of chicken soup. This is by Campbell's. It is a 10 and 3 quarter ounce can. Salt and pepper to taste. One teaspoon of garlic powder. One package of chicken strips. They're already cooked, ready to go. You can use Purdue if you want to. But what we're going to do is cut those up and make them into smaller pieces. Then you'll need six tablespoons of egg beaters, half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. This is two pounds of mixed vegetables. You can get any kind you like, but this one is carrots, corn, green beans, peas, baby lima beans. And then you're also going to need one pound of cut green beans, and these are also frozen. So first you're going to dice your chicken, and this is going to make one and a half cups of chicken in case you're using your own or baking your own. And then you're going to throw your mixed vegetables and your cream of chicken soup and your seasonings into a bowl and mix them up really well. So there it's all mixed up, your chicken, your soup, seasonings, and vegetables, and now you're gonna pour it into a three-quart dish. Spray it with some Pam or canola spray first. This is what it's gonna look like in the pan. And then you're gonna take your Bisquick, your egg beaters, your almond milk, and mix them up. And now we're gonna pour this on top. So this is what it's going to look like when you pour the Bisquick mixture on top. And now we're going to cover it with aluminum foil and stick it in the oven at 350 degrees. This is the finished product, the chicken pot pie. And you're going to bake it with the aluminum foil on for 20 minutes. Take that off and bake for an additional 40 minutes just until the sides are starting to bubble. and the top is lightly browned. And now what you're gonna do is cut this into 12 slices, which they're gonna be big slices, and it's only three points per slice. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you wanna see more recipes like this, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.